They rush to get into what looks like a good defensive position here around 1030 in the morning, opposed by Jackson's brigade over here. And they uh, have a good position because they can duck down from the uh, uh, slope here, reload and then pop up and fire at the enemy. And they will hold this position until about uh, 2 to 2.30 in the afternoon when what had been a shelter becomes a trap as Confederates outflank their position further over here toward the river to our east. We're not far from the monument to the Ninth Illinois, right above the ravine where they fought. So there would have been uh, literally bodies all over this area. And the uh, regiment, once they came here, would have uh, gathered their own dead and tried to identify them. Now, some of the bodies were burned beyond recognition, but they did make an attempt to identify them and bury them here in a trench right after the battle. And this happened all over this battlefield. This is still a Union encampment, and they're in a uh, hurry to clean it up since they're still camped out here, and they're dead bodies, uh, mules and horses and Confederates and Union soldiers. So they bury them as rapidly as possible.